the rule of law and respect for human rights, including the right to associate and to hold and express views freely. I must commend Jubilee Party for remaining strong, focused in the face of sustained state-sponsored onslaught. I am happy that the party recognizes its responsibility to Kenyans to defend and sustain our hard-won multi-party system. More importantly, I commend the Jubilee Party for continuing to fight for lowering of cost of living, electoral justice, inclusivity in appointment in public office, and abolition of excessive taxation of Kenyans. I want to assure you that we will fight this battle together and we will win it together. Failure is not an option. <laughs> Failure is not an option. As we push for respect for political parties, I want to make a heartfelt call on our country to respect leaders who have served our nation and handed over the baton to others. In the recent months, we have seen very uncouth, very primitive, and unwarranted attacks on the person and property of His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta and his family, including the founding president, Mr. Jomo Kenyatta. Shame on them. <laughs> Nothing could be more uncouth than what we have witnessed in this regard, especially when it comes from men and women who call themselves leaders, who expect to be respected when they retire, unless they plan to die in office. <laughs> I must commend my brother and our fourth president, Uhuru Kenyatta, for the dignity and decorum with which he has borne the insults and abuses for the sake of the stability of the nation, the peaceful coexistence of Kenyans, and the dignity of Kenya's presidency. I personally thank Uhuru for choosing to fly high when they have hit an extreme low. I call for respect of retired leaders, not because Uhuru is with us in Azimio. I say it because it is what I believe in, it is what civilized people should do and believe. It is what happens in civilized nations. Kenyans will recall that when NAC took power in 2002 and excited cabinet ministers bade for the blood of the then retired President Daniel Arab Moy, I said no.